All right, so it says consider the following equation, sine of theta is equal to negative four root 29 over 29. If theta is an angle in quadrant four, what is the value of cosine of x? So let's think about that real quick. They're saying that this triangle lives in quadrant four. So remember, this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and then way over here is quadrant four. So we have a right triangle that sort of looks like this. And this is where theta is. So this would be what we consider to be the opposite. This is the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So remember, for SOKATOA, Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. But this square, whenever you see something like this, the square root 29 over 29, that, that means that you rationalize the denominator. So in reality, that's really just negative 4 over the square root of 29. That's all that means. Why? Well, in order for you to make that equal that, you'd have to multiply this by the square root of 29. In other words, I'd multiply this by the square root of 29. That would give me 29. And then I'd have to multiply the top, and that would give me 4 times this. So anyways... Um, the hypotenuse is always positive, so that means that this was the square root of 29. The opposite, oh wait, that's interesting. How could that be negative? How could that be negative? So what I'm trying to figure out is, oh, it is negative. Duh. The opposite. <laughs> For some, in my mind, I was thinking of the adjacent. So anyways, that's negative. The opposite is negative. Because this point right here, that point is um, x comma y, and the y value is always negative. And the y value is actually the opposite value. Oops. So in quadrant four, x is positive, y is negative. All right, so now cosine, cosine of theta, according to Sokotoa, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Well, we know what the hypotenuse is, but we don't know what the adjacent is. So to find the adjacent, we do a variation of the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is always the hypotenuse. Well, what would a squared and b squared be? Well, that would be the opposite plus the adjacent squared. So to find the adjacent, I just got to plug in some numbers. So this would be the square root of 29 squared. And we said that the opposite was negative 4. So that would be squared plus the adjacent squared. So when I do some math here, I get 16 plus a squared Um, is equal to the square root of a square is the base, which is 29, 
We're going to subtract 16 from both sides. And I get a squared is equal to 13. Take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to say a is equal to the square root of 13. So then my adjacent is the square root of 13 all over the square root of 29. Um, but I have to rationalize the denominator. So I have to multiply this by the square root of 29 on the bottom and the square root of 29 on the top. That gives me let's do some math on this. Thirteen times twenty nine equals oh um the square root of three hundred and seventy seven all over. 29. And that's the answer.